what are mechanical ventilators and why is there so much talk about PET mechanical ventilators being used in human hospitals. Hi, my name is Gerardo Poli. I am an emergency veterinarian and hospital director here at the Animal Emergency Service in Brisbane, Australia. And I'm gonna share with you today about mechanical ventilators. So first of all, before talking about what this machine does, I thought I would share with you about how your lungs work. So what do the lungs do? The lungs do a lot of things, but the most important thing that they do is two things. One is that when you breathe in, oxygen comes in and then oxygen goes across to the bloodstream around the body. And when you breathe out, CO2 then leaves the body. So oxygen in and out. And to ventilate means to move air, to refresh air. So when it comes to disease, what happens is those air sacs, so in your lungs, there's millions of tiny little air sacs which fill with oxygen and then allow CO2 to come out. Those little air sacs become clogged with blood, with inflammation, essentially pus, and even bacteria as well. And that's what's happening to humans around the world in ICUs during this COVID pandemic. The COVID virus gets into the lungs and essentially causes inflammation, fluid accumulation, blood, pus bacteria comes in and then the lungs are diseased and these little air sacs get clogged and oxygen can't go in there or can't get across into the bloodstream and CO2 is difficult to come back out. So what these mechanical ventilators do is they forcibly push air into the lungs, open up the little air sacs and they also deliver oxygen levels at a higher amount than what we're breathing in now. So they refresh the air, they ventilate the lungs and they push oxygen down to the areas where potentially these lungs are collapsed with fluid and enable more areas of the lungs to be involved in the exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide. So what we got here is a mechanical ventilator and this mechanical ventilator came from a human ICU only like two years ago. So two years ago, this was being used on humans. And what you can see here is it is delivering air and inflating and then allowing air to escape. So it is pushing oxygen into this bag. So into this used to push oxygen into a human's lungs and inflate, push, push oxygen in and then allow CO2 to escape. This mechanical ventilator probably saved dozens of humans lives during its lifetime in ICU hospitals and we get them at the end and we use them for pets. So what veterinary hospitals around Australia have done is that they have registered their machines with the local health departments so that if they are ever needed during this COVID pandemic then they know where they are and they know where to get them. But what would happen is that they would all go through intensive servicing and then sterilization and so forth. It's not like as if they're gonna take this machine out of this building here and go straight to a hospital to be used right away. They will go through the process to make sure it's safe again for humans. The, maybe the question may be, would I allow myself to be put on a mechanical ventilator if I had COVID and got severe lung disease? My answer to that is yes. These machines saved human lives for years and we are using them now to save pets' lives and they can be used again to save human lives.